That should be us live. Hello, everybody. How's it going? It's me, your favorite, your favorite madman. I've just been, I've just been scanning through the, um, the comments. Um, i will just scanning through some of the comments, um, in my comment section. So that's the thing that I've been doing. Just doing, just gathering some comments for my next episode of actual clapped comments. You know what I mean? So here we are in Assassin's Creed Revelations, um, doing bits like we were before. Uh, one of the comments I actually found was one about Assassin's Creed Unity going, uh, Wanna laugh about at Unity? Ha! I suffered no glitches. This is bullshit or something like that. Now, I'm gonna be very honest with you. People who deny that Assassin's Creed Unity had glitches or even still has glitches are like flat earthers. They just are. <laughs> I'm sorry. You did experience glitches, you just didn't notice them. Trust me, the pop-ins happen to everybody. If you didn't notice them, and they're not supposed to happen, where characters pop in out of nowhere, some of them change from, like, they change model completely. Like, you, that, that is, that is, that is, that is pretty much just happening for everyone, no matter what. Now, people who deny that that's a thing, like, what? If you show me footage of your gameplay, I will spot a glitch inside the first minute of it, and I guarantee you of that. Mario, where? Again, where? Is, it, is that is that is that the famous meme? Mario's memes? Where is everybody today? Is someone else stre streaming or something? Bro, sub box is just not getting notified on this day. Or is everyone that I w or all my viewers American? Because you're going, it's like six, seven, eight a.m. there. Whatever, one of them ones. Um, which is, I don't know. It's definitely. Buying influence was successful. Oh yes, that's what we like. Bettina Alotti has been promoted to assassin. One of your assassins can now be assigned to any one of your dens. I'm Canadian. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. We like we like a good Canadian. Canadians are some of my favourite people. I do. I, I always enjoy. I always enjoy the presence of the Canadians. Let's find ourselves a little place where we can do bits, eh? Where am I? Where's the nearest viewpoint? And how do I punch an author? Um, right, let's go over that direction and get this viewpoint. I just want to get the viewpoints, like um, because the viewpoints are good for you, and it's a good it's a good way to stall and drag the drag my heels a little bit, so lockdown doesn't feel so long. I get the vibe it's going to get re re renewed in the UK for another three weeks after the um, re review in about a week from now. Uh, well, less than in about five five days. I reckon. I reckon we'll be sort of stuck in for another month or two. So I'll find something else to play through after this. I'm thinking. Uh, well, first I'll finish Horizon Zero Dawn. That'll be the first thing that I do after I'm done with this. Probably. I might even do that in between at some point. God knows. I I, I don't really commit to plans. I just do things. I say in the northeast of England too. Northeast, that's pretty cool. I want Assassin's Creed Valhalla now. Can people stop referring to it as Valhalla as if that name has been corroborated by anyone but a fake leaker who posted on April Fool's Day and people fell for it? How do people still fall for April Fool's Day pranks? Like, it's April Fool's Day. This is the day where people do shit like this. And someone went, and someone in the comments of that went, um, who would have the time to make a leak this elaborate? Everyone's on fucking lockdown. So, you answer your own question, please. I'm from the northwest. That's pretty cool. I do quite like the northwest. It's a, it's a good it's a good it's a good area to be. Right now the weather's pretty good in the northwest. Or at least it is. Where I am, where well, I'm not going to tell you where I am, but just know it's Northwest UK, pretty good round here. Now I'm not from the Northwest originally, hence my accent, but I, I, I like the Northwest. It's, it is, it is my probably the place to be. Let me bribe you, please. Let me bribe the. Oh my God! Just let me bribe him. Thank you, James Rostron, by the way. Oh my God! You really? Right. 
My April Fool's Day prank has been going for seven years and nobody's noticed it yet. It's the fact that I made this YouTube channel on April Fool's Day. No, your bed. I've got to get out of here. When will the killing stop? Now that is... I think that's the pinnacle of my, my sense of humour, to be honest. So seven years ago, I made this channel on the 1st of April. And it's been a classic time. No, I've been... I'm actually kind of optimistic about this um this whole this whole debacle because every time I look at my phone it's like a day's gone by because every time I look at it it's a different date. No, it I'm saying that obviously in hyperbole, but I, sometimes I think it'll be like the bloody like the like I think it'll be whatever day it is not. I think it's the day before. Like uh, this morning I looked at it and went is it the 7th of April today? I looked at my phone it was the 8th. I was like, okay, that's pretty dandy. Um, so that's another day just gone. Somewhere disappeared. I don't remember any of it. Now, obviously, I was streaming and I was probably sleeping through most of it. And that's the only way to be. But, you know. You called your channel an April Fool's joke. But it is. It's just a really good one. So good that nobody's noticed it yet. <laughs> People think I'm real. <laughs> well, I'm not real. Going for platinum, fishy? Nah. I'm hopeful for the next Assassin's Creed game because the Origins creators are sort of working on it. Uh, primarily, Ashraf Ismail has got a lot of creative control, probably more so than he had over Origins, as he's actually the creative director now, as opposed to the game director or whatever he was before. Um, so he's got a lot of control now over what he's doing, and I I reckon he's going to absolutely smash the game in. It's going to be it's going to be a good time. Don't know if it'll it won't save Assassin's Creed, and he's under no illusion that it will. He knows that the franchise is. I get the vibe any, anyhow that he knows the franchise is a little bit harder to save than that. It requires consistency among the studios. It's out of his hands. It's going to be a joint effort. That, but as far as the game in itself goes. I reckon it's going to be good. I'm back. What have I missed in the past streams? Well, I'm, if I'm not careful, I'm going to become arrested by the authorities again. No, the authorities are going to kick in my houses. I don't really like that. I'm going to have to repair my armor. Do I have any armor that I can buy? Weapons? Small weapons? I've got that shit. Ammunition. Give me all of the... Give me all of the ammunition. Ingredients. I don't need that. Did they, did they got rid of selling bits? Oh... That would have been useful, but okay. Now, how's everyone in chat doing? That is important. Like, how, how's everyone in my chat set? How are we feeling today? Is every is everyone optimistic about life? Um, because yeah, why 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 wouldn't you be? I guess another it's another one added to the fold. Now, what I do with all these people is I just send them on missions where I practically rank them up stupid amounts. One thing that I do like to do, right, and it gives a lot of experience, is. You find a really difficult one that, that you know the one guy can, one assassin can handle. Um, I'm just trying to find it. Well, there are none on here that one assassin can handle. So you send, you send two of these bad boys, and send a level one. <laughs> Why not? It's the worst that could happen. 99% 99, 99 success rate. This guy levels up stupid amounts. It's a win. This one here is going to be a case of... And the, and it, it, some of them are specialist skills, so it makes no sense as to why they're so fucking tough. But it's going to be useful for some, I guess. I need something with a bit more experience is all. I'm looking for ones that have a lot of experience to them. Like that. But that's got people on it. Now this one is... If I sent you, it would probably do okay. If I send you, it will rank you up though. That's all that matters. The rest I'll keep on hand to have. Yes, I'm doing alright. Got the lads, so we're all good. As long as, as long as we've all got the geezers, it's, life is good. In a way, I, in a way, in this um, situation, I'm quite lucky because I work at home, so I can just work at home like I'm doing now, and, every, and, and everyone can come and enjoy the fruits of my work at home. Okay, what's this?
Hi gamers. The Curse of the Pharaohs is the best Assassin's Creed DLC. Um, when it comes to the best Assassin's Creed DLCs, there are a few good contenders to be fair. Like, it could go any one of these ways. Now, I'd say that it would be between Curse of the Pharaohs, Da Vinci Disappearance, and the Hidden Ones. There's another one that you can throw up there as well if you really want to, and that's Dead Kings. And I do, I do, I do think Dead Kings for Unity was a good DLC. I need to, I need to find one of these notoriety boys and sort them out in the mouth. Probably clarting is just, it's just how it goes. Get a trophy for going all the way to climb it, climb it. You don't have There we go. See that see that there? It's saved for some reason. Now that's now there's a guy over there, so let's Oh this Ezio, come on. Why is he not Oh you don't have any parachutes, do you? Okay. I didn't check how many parachutes I had before I started doing bits, so instead I'm gonna have to do kill. See? I'm not part of it. I'm not part of it. Jack the Ripper for Syndicate was um it, the DLC's quality wasn't bad, but the story was ridiculously stupid. The whole point of Jack the Ripper and what makes it so interesting is it's a mystery. Nobody knows who Jack the Ripper is. So what does Ubisoft do? They, with a DLC about Jack the Ripper, perfect. It, it's great. It's perfect. It's it's a perfect idea. The concept of doing Jack the Ripper in an Assassin's Creed set in Victorian London, you can That is a good DLC idea. Do it. What they did was they revealed the identity of the the killer in the first 20 minutes. Who's that kid? Jack the Lad. His name's Jack. That 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 takes the fun out of it. And now you know who Jack the Ripper is. You don't care. You never see his face anyway. And as a result, they don't they don't really make it any form of mystery they just make it you're just running about hunting down this ser deranged serial killer who you know who it is but you never see the face and you play as this guy sometimes and as fun as the concept is i think the story for jack the ripper could have been much better like it was just ridiculous why would they king washington kind of yeah uh, i mean tyranny was all right i kind of I'm kind of gl I'm, it's just an odd one tyranny of King Washington like it's a simulation it's weird it's meant to be weird oh my god I just listen boys I've got boys how did he get he got he got impaled and lived how did he get impaled and live well, I stabbed this guy, I impaled him, and then he lived. Like, I mean, sure it's possible, but running away is a bit optimistic after being stabbed through the chest and then out the back. Though I suppose BRB making a brew. I'm, I too am making a brew of blood. Yeah, the fact stacking poison upgrade. Ingredients, we don't need that shit. I have... I rinse my bank account every single time. You know what, that guy, I bribe him, he stops talking. And he's being paid to continue talking. When he realises I've absolutely mugged him off as a damn thief, he comes to punch me. Why not instead just go back to chatting shit? Just, just, just a logical thought. Just a logical process. If just go back to it. Just go back to what you were doing before. It makes not it. Notoriety should go back up, but it doesn't because game logic. And thank God for it. All right, let's go in this general direction so we can head over and do bits, eh? This is very dangerous. You shouldn't be doing this. You're the man, fishy. Classic pain and stealing it back. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, if you don't do that every single time, then you're really missing out on money. Why do I keep jumping from stupid heights that I know will do damage to me? I'll never stop. But you know how it is. I 
I wonder if I've put anyone in this this sty. I think I have. I hope I have. No, I haven't. I haven't put anyone in charge here. I need to put some some man in charge. I don't. I don't. No, I'll put you or you. I don't know which one it is. Um, I think I'm gonna go with you because I like that. I like the um the color of your robes that I selected for you. Um, I would not like to talk to you yet, to be honest. I will. Um... No. We'll come back and do them though. Don't worry about that. Right now, my my priority is putting someone in charge of all of them so that they're protected from the uh, the naughty men. Assassin's Creed kills are the best. Well, it beats it beats killing people in real life. I think that's the point, though, of violent video games. It beats the violent reality. It's more, and it's also fun to do in games. And it's very worrying when you realise that you probably find it. Fun and fuck me, I need to I need to stop talking otherwise I'm gonna dig myself a hole. Okay. Right. The Sentinel Part two. Let's do this. Yes, that is important. The little prince was successful. That is what we like. He, he has reached assassin fifth rank. Listen the to the apprentice. The traitor valley. Have you found him? He found us, Mentor. Two of our brothers were kidnapped uh, from this day. Why and don't I crack that open and we have a chill now one? It's a good. It's a nice warm day. It's it's the perfect weather for a for no, a cider. Do not negotiate with men who use hostages as leverage. We hunt them down and we eliminate them. Then we should split up. What have I done? Oh my now. god. We have little time to waste. If you're going to do a cutscene, please just do a full cutscene. Oh yeah. That's the shit. When you first start drinking cider, all you taste is the fruit. That's the thing that I've noticed. Once you drink so much cider that you're sick on it once, then you just, all you taste is the alcohol with a little bit of fruit. And sometimes it can knock you about. Other times when it's not, it's like, oh, it's fine. The worst, the worst alcoholic beverage I've ever tasted is a cider. I, I, Strongbow. Strongbow Dark Fruits is the most disgusting drink I have ever tasted in my life. It's just rancid. It is the most rancid, disgusting drink of all time. If we're not counting absinthe. Listen, boys. Stop axing me. this mission I keep on getting spotted. Well fortunately we're not going for the full drink. Better than a lot of spirits probably. I change your opinion on bad drinks. I doubt that. Strongbow Dark Fruits is rancid. It's not because it tastes rough or anything like that but it's just horrid. But the smell of Strongbow Dark Fruits makes me sick. Looking at a glass of Strongbow, Strongbow Dark Fruits makes me sick. There is no way a liquid can be that deep a colour and still be healthy. It looks like somebody's put alcohol in Ribena and then just left it without fucking diluting the thing. Listen, I know that guy's important, but this chest is too. <laughs> Was it Bali who did this to you? Mentor, forget me. You have fallen for a ruse. He captured me to draw assassins away from the headquarters. Oh, I tried to finish it, He'll be on his way there now. It was just watered down beer with a hint of rotten apple. That's probably just an old cider, as opposed to a shit one. Like, if it's old, if, if it gets old, the uh, the apple, like, ciders can go a bit bad sometimes. Sometimes they just do. Sometimes when they get, they get old. 
No, cider, cider is great because it's a real fucking... It's like... It's like it's, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. I'm going to describe it as like a secret sand. <laughs> Except you, your options are cocaine and absinthe. <laughs> okay, I need to... Absinthe, anthrax. I, I need to stop. So apple cider is great. I like, I like a lot of ciders, don't get me wrong. I love cider. Um, one that I tried recently that I thought was, eh, it's alright. It's just a bit hard. It's called o Old Moot. It's, it's a New Zealand one. I'm sure you've all heard of it. It's, it's, it's alright, Old Moot. It's simple. Henry Weston's is a cider that I loved. And then, um, I mean, I can't, you, you can't, I can't act many of them. I'll have one, then I'll be like, oh, the taste is, the taste is very strong. And it sort of puts you off having more because it gets to a point where the bottles just don't empty. And it, but it's a classic side. It's a classic side. It's a good time. Then of course you've got. Um, oh, you get nastier ciders again. That one's not. That's it's a rough one. But it's not that rough in the grand scheme of rough. Like scrumpy, for example, that comes looking like it's petrol. But like the bottles, like how you get scrumpy, it looks like petrol before you drink it. Let me a bit of vodka. Yeah, vodka's all right. Um. You are a canny soldier, Ezio, but you alone are not enough to save this city. Green Bull vodka. I will follow from the rooftops. Chase the Sentinel. At the moment, I'm chasing the Sentinel, but there's just a Byzantine guard behind me. Deciding that I exist is, and now is the time. To, to make that point. There we go. He did bits. Once your creed was as vital to me as air. Smash your pass leaves from unity. The and there I was thinking we were having a nice conversation about cider. How could I continue to believe? If a man's philosophy does not prefer coke and vodka to Red Bull. His, people, mm. his home and his family. What good can it do for the world? Peace be with you. What's going on with that screen? Claudia, I am now in possession of one oh, of the Masyaf keys. And better still, I have discovered a map, encoded with signs and symbols, which I believe will lead me to the remaining keys. Okay. Its full meaning is a mystery to me. Make more still gold I'm videos. Don't worry, it will happen. Willing to help me decide. I've got a Red Dead video that I'm currently working on, but I can't quite figure out what I want to do with it yet. The Templar. There's something that I've noticed. One key hostage, and if I am to recover and it, I may need more help than the assassins can provide. If I can make a friend in the Ottoman court, it's just a bit, it's a bit curious. The but I don't really have any lead on what it means greatly. yet. If I um, what are your feelings on VR at the moment? Do you see yourself ever with one? I mean, honestly, I don't have the space for VR in my current setup. Once I'm in my own spot, you know, like in a place where I've got like a massive fucking basement or something that I can do bits in, I want a basement. I've decided I do it when when I move into my own place. I want a fucking basement. That is my that is my that's my prerequisite. I don't care if it's a, it's a shack. It could be shit on sticks up upstairs, but as long as it has a basement, it's fine. Um, hang on, let's go do the other thing because this is this is for pubes. Um. But yeah, once I'm in my own place, maybe I'd get one, just for the sake of having one. But honestly, how it currently stands, I've never been one for VR. I like I like sitting down. I like to, I like I like sitting there with a the controller. I'm, I've never been one to. What's the what's the best way to describe it? It's like, I like video games being very definitively different from reality. Whereas with VR, the whole point is to try to simulate that that reality of how you'd see things, perceiving from a character's perspective and things like that. And that's never interested me. As cool as it is, it's just never interested me. Um, 
that being said, if it's the future, we've got to adapt. Oh no, it's Duccio. The strings of fate have drawn us together. Two Italiani lost it. The reason he's called, I want to, I want to, I want to point this out for people who don't realise, that his name Duccio is just, um, is is a play on um, the, I think it's an American American word really, but it, it's a play on douchebag. Duccio is funny. Do you know Arthur Morgan has a Welsh accent and I am Welsh? Nausea above all. Sorry. Is this man bothering you, Sophia? Sorry, Arthur. Excuse me, Arthur. Mr. Arthur but Morgan are... has not got a Welsh accent. Stay back. Duccio, a pleasure. Run, buona donna. Run for your life. Such a that? such a clever little. Uncanny. <laughs> he was engaged to my sister many years ago. And what happened? That's an American accent, mate. Katzo was engaged to six others. It's, it's, it's an American He's accent of sorts. So what brings you to these docks? I took a break from my work to retrieve a package. Uh, Arthur's voice but actor is not Welsh either. Arthur's voice actor so is... America, Irish American I sort of thing. I think he has Let dual nationality. But he is sort of Irish-ish. Do you now? See. I will meet you back at your shop. I think I think Roger Clark is Irish American as opposed to just Irish. I think he was born in America, um, so he's, he's got dual nationality. I think is what it is, and I mean I think he studied he studied in the UK for a bit as well. I do believe I don't. I like how I just killed the full sink straight away with four dead bodies. I don't know too much about that. I, th I do remember reading it somewhere though. Um, it could be wrong. All I know is, he's definitely not fucking Welsh, is he? Just have to sort of be honest with ourselves. No, but when you when you hear Roger Clark speak normally, yeah, oh my god, can you just stay on the fucking dock? Yeah, he has got a- oh my god! He has got a bit of- he has got a bit of a funny accent, but it's definitely not Welsh. It's just a mixture of everywhere that he has been, I think. Sofia Sardo. Perfetto. Oh, who, who is this? Sorry, that super chat. Noel UK. Cheers for that. Um, for the two two pound super chat. Bit of unit. Indeed, that's what we like. Bit of stones. Bit of bones. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream. Share with your friends. Hit subscribe if you're new. Let's get to 100 likes. That'll be a great number to to hit. Really, quite early, I think. Let's let's loot this while we go. How long will you be streaming for? Um, really does depend on what I'm feeling because I don't really go, oh, I don't know, I might be streaming for this long, I might stream for this long. It goes from when I feel like I should start <laughs> until when I want to end, usually. Usually, the average is about two hours. Depends on ha what activity we're looking at by that time sometimes. But sometimes I can, I can go three, four hours, but I don't tend to go any less than two if I can help it. So we've only been going for half an hour, so we can. So it's another 90 minutes at least. You know, Romanese. Wish I could donate, but I just don't have money. Then like this stream instead. That is that 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 is that is supporting my books. Or share the stream. No, there's no need to. You don't have to donate if you if you can't or if you don't want to. It's. Oh no! Look at the damage. It's fine. There are many ways you can support the channel that don't involve paying. And I think I, if you want to support the channel, those are the ways that I'd recommend going through first. If that's what you want to do. So if you want to share the stream, that'll be very helpful. For example. This is a print of a map by Martin Walsh. The DualSense controller. See here? 
the new lands. I don't dislike it, but it doesn't look particularly pleasant. Or pleasant. Cristoforo Colombo. History has a strange way of unfolding. What do you make of this body of water here? A new ocean, perhaps. Lasers goes for everyone. Most of the scholars I know claim the size of the globe has been underestimated. Yeah, well, James is just a gamer, isn't he? The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. Well, you honored your promise. Here is mine fulfilled. If we are correct, this should show you the look. I like how she doesn't question Ezio's crossbow, his sword, admit, and his armor. My head is swimming with the prospect of seeing these books. This is knowledge the world has lost and must have again. Perhaps I could print a few copies to distribute myself. Or a small run of 50 or so. That should be enough. <laughs> Perché ridi? Forgive me. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so personal and noble. It is inspiring. Goodness, where is this coming from? Grazie, Sofia. I will return. Built in Mikey so Sony can spy on us. Um, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Though, to be honest, no. I like the, the variable resistance triggers thing. That sounds like fun. Don't jump off. I, I thought I'd fucked it for a second there. Thank God. I can't bring myself to watch James's streams. Why is that? What's wrong with James's streams? If you don't mind me asking, that is, of course. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the Discord feel the same way about my streams, though. They're just not that bad, though, are they, in real life? Like, realistically, they're not that bad. I don't understand what the problem is. But. Apparently they do. There we go. Why is James Ethan? So it's bad, it's just boring to me. I don't know. Usually when I want to watch a stream, I'll be doing something else that doesn't require me to be, like, I'll be working on something, but I won't be using, so I won't be, like, recording audio or something, I'll be editing. That's when, that's when, when James streams, I'm, like, perfect, something to sort of just gel my brain to. Um, if he just streams, I'll always have it open, uh, given the watch time at the very least. Um, but I am quite a busy guy myself, I will, I will be honest, otherwise I'll probably chill, chill, chill for longer, because I do... I do quite enjoy when James streams. Don't stop for long because I usually have some bits and bobs to do, but I'll always come and say hi to the gamers. Classic Benedict Parker saying hi to the gamers. That's what we like. Let's get to the hundred. that 100 likes. There's 110 people here. We can definitely smash it, so let's smash it in with a hammer. That Syndicate DLC video is getting some views. It's on 66,000 at the moment. Um, which is cool. I mean, if your streams are the best, in my opinion. Well, that's just not true, let's be honest. Um, Galata Tower unlocks. Right, that's where we go next. My streams, I, I think my streams are good, they're fun, but I don't know. James has some great effects on his streams, and it, it baffles me as to how he's made them. But I don't know how he's managed to get that working. Pro I presume he's still using Streamlabs OBS to some extent, but there's probably some plugin that he's got that I don't quite figure out. And the rest of it is just raw skill on his end. Um, honestly, it impresses me. Like that is some professional level streaming, whereas I'm just a, well, I just do gaming bits. So I like, I like thought. I try to read the chat. I do think, I, I do think I do a better job of reading the chat than James. Don't get me wrong. That's like the only thing I do better though. <laughs> Fisher, can you say pugs? As in the uh, as the as in the ugly dogs that are just ugly. Pugs. 
ugly dogs that shouldn't exist because it's actually cruel on them for some reason because they're not because they're fuck ugly but because they can't actually physically breathe they struggle because they they've been bred to look cute and ugly and as a result of looking cute and ugly they struggle to breathe and that's why people don't like dogs well that's why I don't like pugs anyway, because, I mean, I don't mind, like, as the animal itself, if I see a pug, I'll be like, oh, a dog, great. You know, it exists, you can't, you can't ignore it, but I feel bad for it. Always here for you, all pillar streams are always good. Yeah, James, Tyler, George, me, we all stream, like, Tyler streams now, like, we all stream, like, it's, it's great. All four of the pillars do streaming bits, though, to be fair, when George streams, he's usually playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey these days. And the pain. The pain. George's streams are really chill, though. Like, if you want a chill stream, subscribe to Long Eared Fox. You'll get just that. Just a stream where there's a guy who just wants to chill out doing some gaming. That's pugs, not bulldogs. Then James is Edge. It. I think James is edgy in terms of overall quality because he's always got those bits and bobs, which I have no fucking clue to make. Yeah, I haven't got the f I haven't got the foggiest idea how he does it, but then again, he does have he does have an education in what he does. Like he knows how to he knows how to work After Effects, and I I could never figure out After Effects in a million years unless I did a course similar to what he's done. Probably if I if I sat down and tried to learn After Effects. I'd probably do it, but the, the but the the reality of it is, it's a lot of it's a lot of overcomplication for something that doesn't need to be that complicated. And so I, being the lazy bastard that I am, just can't bring myself to do it. I can't bring myself to try. And in, in that way, I have a lot of respect for what James does, and a lot a lot of what he does. He goes above and beyond to make lovely streams. And don't get me wrong, I would love to have um, like lovely effects all over the place and things like that as well. But frankly, I haven't got the foggiest on how, how I'd go about doing so. I'm quite good with simple stuff though, it has to, it has done me well. Go right there pal, how are you doing? It's having a bit of a bad day. Please, please help. Find the man who did this to me. You should be more concerned with the doctor. No, there is no time. The man who did this. He is looking for my wife and my daughter. He's loading some odd bits and uh, after effects. But James has literally even do. been taught it would be hard to try to reach that level. Fish Please. Evil's funny guy. Do not let I try my best. History my AC, family. guys. I'm quite good at history. I'm sweating on my back. That's not good. Well, I always sweat. I, I sweat a lot. These. I've always sweated a lot. Are you having a good day, Fishy? Yeah. But better day if I wasn't fucking sweating. It's not even that warm. I don't know why I sweat so much. I think it's because I'm probably supposed to be dead. I don't know. God knows if I'm supposed to be alive these days. Listen. Okay. Who's first? Oh god. He really did drop me. That was that was messier than it needed to be. They've all got their own quality. Yeah, no. I look at After Effects as like a software and go, how the fuck do you go anywhere with this? Don't watch many fishy videos because I haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2, but when I have, I'm going to go to the fattest binge of my life. Oh, you're going to have a great time. Like, I, I have heard that that stuff is binge worthy. 
And when I say that it, and I, when I say that, it's because people tell me so. <laughs> I don't think it. Is. I mean, I I binge it myself sometimes. I what look at those videos and go, I'm gonna binge these. I, I like that. Done. How are you feeling? My wounds will heal, and my heart is lifted knowing that my family is safe. How can I repay you? Join us when you are feeling well, brother. We could use men with a sense of honor. Evet, I will. Most certainly. The Avenger. Oh. But nobody joined the Brotherhood because I got a full Brotherhood, so why would that happen? No, I need to do this tomb up here, don't I? I slapped up the old man. James has binge-worthy Assassin's Creed fan fiction. Don't let him hear you say that, or see you say that. <laughs> the binge-worthy content, that's what you like. I always like, uh, that's what I like, you know. When I, when, I, when I look at my content, I go, I want to make something that I, people would consider binge-worthy. And when I started making the Red Dead videos, I'd be like, people, I know people are just going to sit here and watch this for days on end. Well, that content is just full of all the bits and bobs that that you can. If you if you look if you go out of your way to find in Red Dead Redemption Two, you will find loads of weird shit that is just mad. It's mental stuff that you'd never notice existed. The that idiot Dave, more like Bor Ragnar Ragnarak. Okay, thank you, but thank you for the super chat, man. I really do appreciate it. No, I always thought if you go out of your way in Red Dead, like far out of your way, you will find really weird shit. That's what the game is. But most people won't do that, and so when they see my videos, they go, Oh, that's pretty cool. What's that? There was some comments on me, but I thought it might jinx the chat. It's good to consider the, li the likelihood of someone you're choosing to watch. Another one of your videos after finding a channel, if that makes sense. Yeah, I I try to I try to do that, but with with Red Dead, I know that there's a lot of things in that game that people will find through my videos, and then they'll go and do it, and they'll be like, "That's cool. Let's see what else there is to find." And that's another that's another way, as opposed to just watching it so they don't have to do it themselves. Some people will watch it and do it as they go as a guide. Not only does it double up as a guide as well, but sometimes it can just be fun to get other people's takes on things that you found. Like you'll search it up, see what it might mean, things like that. I've got to make a video on the, on a detail that I've noticed that is. Uh, well, I've got a video coming on a detail that I've noticed recently that people have noticed before, but nobody can quite make heads nor tails of it, and neither can I, to be honest. But it'll be fun to contemplate what could what it could possibly mean, and I'm sure that 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 would be pretty cool. Hello, you're right, Lee. How you doing? Lee, dab me up, dab me up. Oh god, we're doing this. Ow. Days are good. Can we just take a moment to um, to realise how if Ezio did that in real life, it would probably just rip his arm off? Or dislocate his shoulder at the very least. By the way, this is my favourite set piece in Assassin's Creed Revelations, I think. Now that says a lot, because this set piece is beautiful. Uh, it's, it'll be between this one and the boat one, I reckon. The one where you're chasing that boat. Look at those fucking light beams, they look so bad. You're not wrong. It's an old game though, isn't it? So what are you expecting? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't think you're expecting... I, I think you know what to expect. You're a, you're a relatively head screwed on the right way kind of guy, don't I? I don't remember this at all. You don't remember this? You don't remember this set piece? I'm pretty sure this one's the one where you get to the end and you start hearing... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong on that one. God, but you start hearing conversation in the background of Sean, Rebecca and William Miles climb the thing then, mate. There you go. I think I don't like an Ezio collection. 
Uh, but one thing I don't like in the Ezio collection is probably the um, the timed things where you have to do things on a timer. That bothers me. Like I can't be arsed with timers. Anything with a timer saddens me a lot. In Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, you can do a mission with Bonnie McFarlane, but it costs money and I got no money and no bullets. Yeah, I'm aware. But I don't play Red Dead Online because well, I do with 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 mate with with Cam. But what we do is we mess about because I can't be asked with doing the missions and things in Red Dead Online because I just don't care enough. Tailing missions. I oh God. Black Flag's tailing missions make me want to commit some serious, serious war crimes. Really? I see I've found something that's probably going to be completely useless and not even have money in it, but let's go. I blew revelations for the all the time for Altair Air missions alone. I do like me a bit of set pieces in um Maybe all Assassin's Creed. Don't know if I'd define this as a set piece. I, I guess I would define it as a set piece of sorts. As moments where it doesn't feel like it, it feels a bit more broad. Yeah, see, this is what this thing's for, it does bits. AC Ragnarok? AC Ragnarok? Why have you, why, why have you typed that three times? Now there's no way back up if we fuck it. That's just the, that's the main thing. I could probably I I'd never reach back there. That that, that would make no sense. It's normal to like GTA Online, but it's also normal to hate the GTA Online community. Oh god. I don't think there's um. I just don't think I could ever play Grand Theft Auto Online. I don't don't think I could ever do it. Look at it and go. Oh god, I would just get killed all over the- all, like loads and loads and I wouldn't be able to enjoy that. Is he wearing the Edward outfit? No. What do you mean is he wearing the Edward outfit? Does this look like the Edward outfit to you? <laughs> it doesn't to me. Can you even get an Edward outfit in any Ezio game even in the remaster? I don't think that you can. Can you? No, you can't. Oh, God! No, that was going to happen. Can you not... Can you grab hold of the thing in front of you instead of jumping off at an angle? Now I'm miles back, which is peak. That's what we like. Buy it, so try again. Good old Ezio. Yes, the- Oh, fucking shit! Can you just jump off of something like you normally do? What is wrong with you today? There's no smoothness in, in the change of direction in the SEO trilogy. It doesn't even try to make any... 
doesn't try to make a secret of that. That took its sweet fucking time. Give me all the money now. See, a grand, that's, that's not a bad find. What is Biggie G's made out of? Uh, I presume testosterone, I don't know. Jesus made out of? Um, bread, I guess. I, I suppose he's made out of bread. Is he far cry from that? Sounds like Karen recording, so I'll see some of you on James's stream. When's James streaming? Out of curiosity. I, I presume later. What is he streaming later? I'm curious. Absolute bits. We caught. We, we got the Masyaf key. Can you do Far Cry? I literally just answered that question. Probably not. Complete the level within six minutes. That took me six minutes. Less than. Time is dragging today. A bit of Resident Evil 3. Oh, okay. It's pretty cool. James playing Resident Evil sounds like fun. I mean... French. I hate everything French. I quite, I quite like, I quite, I quite like bits of French. If you get me, like lovely bit, lovely bit of French. People are dead. Stop begging now. Be gone, vine peasant, and let me do bits. Uh, what happened? Chapalo and Petit Fonce. I don't even know if the tenses on that were right, but. God knows. God knows if I care. I, don't, I know the accent was very British because I didn't care, but. Yeah, you know, it goes. Buffer. That's a good way to describe the gamers. Do, 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 do you reckon Swag actually kills gamers? That is that is that is today's question. You should hear my Russian. Oh, I'd love to hear your Russian, mate. You should hear my Russian. Gibberish, gibberish, gibberish. There you go, Russian. Damn, that map is small. But at least it's actually full of shit worth doing. I don't even know if it is. I just said that. Honestly, I'm not sure. Let's say a Ragnarok. Um, exists. Um, I, we haven't heard anything, so I'm not going to say what do I think about it, because I don't know yet. The Russian. I know Swag is powerful. I don't speak Russian, so I could never. I can never do a Russian, but I want to. I want to hear some. I want to hear some Russian accents. And that's what is powerful. Me too, man. On dual axis, then it's AC again. That'll be fun. That would be fun. Being able to equip them, not even having to use them, like being able to equip dual axes. I'm fucking everyone up as a Viking. That's all I care about. Oh, and a good story. That'd be cool. If it's Odyssey, you but with Vikings, I'll be sad. Man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you. 
and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer. Just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. I love the Revelation soundtrack. Look at all these travel? men who are... Well enough. Yes. I these men and ride women to doing bits. With news of Al -Mulim's death. Would you ride to Akre and do the same? Of course. How did it come to this? My mind was clear, but my body... It would not move. Was our mentor the cause of this confusion? I do not believe it. I like a bit of gaming. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Saab in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, I do. he's just slowly going Today down. you use the Apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The Apple is safe in Al Mulin's study. I'm finished here. I will show you all I know. You drop him. Let's drop him again. Land here. Can't drop him again. I'm very sad. My right, gamers, it's time. Amas isn't even a master assassin. Look at his robes. must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Has he not been breathing for the past Hear 15 minutes? Out. That's usually enough. This body could be another Should one I leave the stream? Phantoms? I, I must first be I just made a new video. Fishy is my seventh. All your life, you have made a seventh favourite. Okay, well, I you mean, you can watch that video at any point, but if you want to leave the stream, but that's completely up to you. And humiliating those around you. Restrain him! It's very specific that Did you not hear him? Al I'm seventh. Is bewitched. Usually after the first one or two, I sort of well, one, usually. I don't really have much order going on. I don't have a favourite YouTuber by the way, I don't really watch much YouTube myself. You can't just do whatever you please. Disarm assassins to prevent a civil war. Civil war is a bit of a strong word. Uh, for, for this, I think. To, to, to prevent anyone from getting hurt is probably better. A bit stronger what this is. Everyone's fighting each other. Pretty sure they just pick up their weapons after you drop them anyway. What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas, stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved al Mulim less than anyone. You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero. This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it! No man is. 
It is beautiful, is it not? Oh no! Naughty bits have been performed. Are they dead? Yes, they are dead. Forgive me. I did not know. Have you anything to teach us? Or would you lead us all to ruin? Good old Altair just asking it just asking it the questions. Are you gonna do bits or are you gonna do bits? And it's like, I'm gonna do bits. Oh, yes. Lovely. I like how it animates like he's doing both, but with Altair, he's only got one. <laughs> Wee. My favourite YouTuber list is private. Okay, he just told yeah. us I was seventh. Barely 26. Can't be that Already private. <laughs> master in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? Uh, yo. Two Masyaf keys. I'm feeling a change of robe colour. It might not sound important, but bloody well is. And if you can't see that, then I'm going to have to punch you in the cheese chops. Draw up to gives me migraines. Why is that? It makes some very helpful content. I've never had a. I don't have any problems with your app, so I don't understand. This of the Crusade and Kyle the Crusader. Fisher, your top five. My top five what? If you say, I don't know enough YouTubers if that's what you're on about. Well, I mean, I, I do, but I don't have a favourites list. I think the four pillars are the best Guani, and then you've got the conversations dudes, and any, any order there will do. And that that get, brings me to four if I don't include myself. Love the list, favourite YouTuber, but if I had to make the list, Fisher would definitely be in the top tier. I am very glad to. I'm very glad to hear that at least somebody loves me. Now, <laughs> that's great. I can turn any situation into a dark joke. The person we see with the master assassin robes I hold there is Thomas the Con. Yeah, that Thomas the Con Conneon. If you know you're in my top five, lol, you're chilled. That's much appreciated. Right in the top five. Where I belong. Hear me out, there should be an Ezio remake like what they did with Resident Evil 3. I honestly don't think I'd. I don't know. Let's find Massey F. White. First things first, let's see if we can upgrade our... But I don't really... We don't really need the parachute bag to up to be upgraded.
What we need though is we do need a couple of parachutes. There we go. And just like that, I am broke. Let's hand up. But at least I'm wearing massive half white robes now. It's the colour to be, you know what I mean? Books. I need to go do books. I need to do books. I like how the, on the map market it says books. Just tells you exactly what you're getting into. Books. Fishy is called Greg. No, Fishy is called Matthew. I wonder if people will ever actually use my real name before they call me Fishy. Like, I know I don't exactly advertise anywhere, but I get the vibe most people know it anyway. Uh, I just find it really funny when people call me Fishy. I, I don't mind it. I, I, I answer to it. I find it quite funny. In some ways, I kind of prefer it. I don't, I don't actually mind. I, if you know my actual name, use it, you know. But I do find it funny that you got... You got, you got James, George, Tyler. You got Eddie. You got Sheps. Um, in like in this sort of community that we have going along here, we have like a bit of a joint com community with the conversations gang. And then you've got me. I'm just fishy, Lord Fishy. Sometimes, like I'm outright Lord Fishy at times, and that that makes me laugh. What about Zar Fishy? Uh, sure. I'd, I'd answer to. I'd answer to Zar. Bob the Ball Kicker. I'll answer to that as well if you want me to. Let's loot the ground. There's nothing here, but we can still loot it. 400 Akche and Polo Zimbals Galata. Lovely. That's what we like. 1001 Nights. Sounds like my masturbation streak. Now, let's forget I said that and carry on. Fishy, don't be naughty. Bob the Bull Kicker it is. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to head back over to, into this northy district over here. First things first, though. Oh, God, we can't renovate that because we haven't got any bloody money. Now, we're going to go over there, but I think I need to nip to the loo before we do anything else. Otherwise, what will happen is I'll fill up I'll fill up that stinky bladder again and I'll have to, have to shit piss. Oh, look at you. Drinking too much coffee. Definitely too much coffee. I'm the one that's been drinking too much. You're dead. B. I'm so glad that these realistic, these realistic gameplay bits exist. You know what I mean? So realistic. Do you get money from streaming? Um, with, when I stream, it's mostly from super chat donations and things like that. But yeah, I guess so. In some, at least in some ways, a little bit of revenue that goes through as well. And when it goes back up as a video, there's that as well. At the moment, most of it's coming on videos that I put up in the, in the past. But I've got a video on Red Dead coming along. I've got to do a video on this uh, bloody Reutlinger thing. Like the, like on the Reutlinger watch. There's something that what is weird. There's like a weird feature to it. One of the, where, it, where it should be the eight hand because it's in Roman numerals. Instead, it says thirteen. Now, that if it was any, it could just be a mistake. But with Rockstar's attention to detail, I wouldn't put much money on it. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang around here and stand here for a few minutes while actually before we do that. 
before before we stand around here for like while I do bits, let's. Send someone who can gain lots of experience on a mission. With these two, and then they can get loads of experience from it. And then we can just hang around and do nothing. A stalker may arrive through that fishy. Oh, yeah, it's just me. Right, okay, I'm gonna nip to the loo. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I will be as quick as I can possibly be, don't worry. I will have to be a bit. Like I said, it'd be very quick, and here I am. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It me. Right. Okay. So, let's uh, go do some naughty gaming beats. Where did I get the eight grand from? Oh, I know where I got the eight grand from. My dog has coronavirus. What should I do? Definitely anything but stick your penis in it. Let's go and renovate that tailor, and then this entire district nice. will be done. I didn't realise I'd gathered eight grand just on the pop. Ah, uh, boys, it me. There we go, now I have loads of parachutes in that. It was worth it. <laughs> Let's go see this guy over here, sort him out, punch him in the mouth and then run off. Ah, fallen over in that, and that was not nice. Listen, sunshine, shut your fucking mouth, otherwise I will punch you in the chin. Thank you so much, let's go. Ah oh, yes, the zip line. Ignore the zip line. Forget about the zip line, just, just kill the guy. Who is Bob and why is he helping me with the bully in the alley? Sorry, 
So it's the Imperial District. Okay. Never mind, let's go this way to this. Now bits can be performed. It is fine, do not worry. I will perform the finest deeds. Bad boy, are you saying for yourself? Mentor, I am told you still have the speed and strength of a 20-year-old. I try to keep healthy. Then how about the race? I could use a bit of exercise. You begin, and I will follow. Race your apprentice. I love a bit of a race. Here we are. The Templar is up to something. We should track him. Yeah, right, boy. By this point, he'd know that he's being followed. Oh no. Do not let him escape. I can stop him. Why did that just take my assassin signals and do nothing? He was holding this mentor. It must belong to the vizier he robbed. You take care of this body. I will return this document. Why am I not notor notorious? What's that about? Why is my um? Why is my apprentice so low on health as well? Well, what has happened? I believe this belongs to you. Ah. Uh. You have spared me much humiliation before the Sublime Port. Thank you, Effendim. And is that the young assassin who aided you today? Enjoy the rest of your day. Well, that was really not worth it. <laughs> Oh my fucking fuck, come on. Why does the hook blade give the illusion of speeding up climbing but doesn't? He thought he actually got paid loads, but no, he just got 
It just got mugged off by me. Where's my guy? There he is. It does speed up climbing. No, it doesn't, because you have to. Because at, every time you get there, like it, like when you when you when you use it, you have to stop for a second. It gives the illusion of speeding up climbing without actually speeding it up. In situations where it's a bit of a tight one like that, it does it slows it down if anything. <laughs> It does speed it up on them, like that there, that's faster. On this it's the same because it's whatever that is. But on this here, say you use this. There you go, you have to take a minute to get your bearings. So why? What am I doing? Where am I find? I'm trying to find these, um, these, these, I don't want my dens to get attacked if any don't have any assassins operating on them. So I'd like it to sort itself out please. I can't, I can't renovate a new bank because I want to get rid of this notoriety. And for some reason, I can't find anyone to do bit. I can't reclaim the city was successful. That's what we like. I'm just trying to find the bloody um, someone that can help me clear this bloody bounty. Come on, I need to get rid of the notoriety, but there's no one about who's even chatting shit. So. See, that was murder. What? Oh my fucking days. I didn't even press anything. I got to the end and he just decided to drop to his death. That is classic. I'm getting more and more notorious, so so. There we go. Bits have been performed today. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, show with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new. Let's get to 150, that'll be cool.
Of course I have that little tinge of bounty left. That I somehow now to need to be rid of. You're at their party saying, oh they're above, okay. Cool, well I'm gonna handle this bounty before I do anything else, otherwise it'll just... Bounty, I keep using that word, it's notoriety, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna handle that before I do that. It's important. I've got 10 grand in the bank. How many streets do I need to roam through before I find a fucking Herald guy? Come on, how, how rare are they? There's one. My Templar status is returned to secret. I'm back from somewhere. I thought, ah, oh, cool, cool. Welcome back. I hope life's treating you well. Books. Where is the Templar mate? Says he can't hunt fishy. Then what's that? But I'm a fishy. There's new stuff in the blacksmith because new sequence. I've. I know in this sequence the new stuff is this stuff. The, the, the stuff that I've bought. It's fine. Don't worry. Plenty of time. Oh well. I was wondering how I was going to get down. Wall obelisk. Let's do the bits. Let's get the bit of books to get the maximum knowledge and let's go. It's cannon now. Bit of books. Double knowledge. Treble book. XP Boys A pleasant surprise Ezio We should trade stories if I'm not dead by this time tomorrow Is there a chance of that? We learn that the Byzantines are planning to infiltrate Top Kappa Palace Now that Prince Suleiman has returned from his Hajj If they do strike it will be tonight at a cultural exposition the Prince has organized. So what is our plan? Kardashim, this is not your fight. No need to snare yourself in the Ottoman affairs. The Byzantines found a key beneath Topkapa Palace and I would like to know how. Ezio, we want to protect our Shehezade. Not interrogate him. Trust me, Yusuf. Just tell me where to go. Topkapa's main gate. We plan to dress as entertainers. And walk right in. I will find the disguise and meet you there. Prince's banquet. Hang on, why is this not sending this bloody message? It's not working, it's weird. <laughs> That was useless. Is 
Minstrels from Italia. I am going to enjoy this. I love this mission because fucking minstrels, man. Bring our man a flagon of wine, for he has our cause. Let's go, Mr. Guitar, man. Sorry, it's a, it's a loot, isn't it? Now, Ezio dressed as a minstrel is quite funny. I look ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. My blade is too conspicuous in this outfit. Are you armed? Mr. Ledil, you mark the targets and we will take them out. to play that thing i learned a few chords when i was young when will you ever young <sighs> i'm dressed up like a jester i act the fool and mime all the actions of those this courtyard is close to the public turn around and start walking perdonate buon signore we are this evening's entertainment any old Gersek can carry an instrument around. Get lost. Proud Romagna's iron lady, a rose You sound like a dying steel, cat. Could raise the ardor of a corpse. <laughs> and what is a this? Where, Oh, the beauties of Firenze can melt a heart, you'll see. <laughs> what are you Beware doing? The girls of Roma, lest fire you wish to be. Hey, Gala. Go in and bother Vieri, the guests with that oh, noise. Vieri, yes, he of Patsy fame. <laughs> no, I love these just songs. As mad as his old man, and he did just the same. I love Ezio's songs because of this player. Grim Doge, it's just a, a lovely man. man. Was just a trifle red of face when I upset his plan. <laughs> Young Cesare, I heard him say, could not be killed by man. So I tossed him through the air to see where he might land. I can't believe I stand here and seeing my time I waste. But you who sit and smile at me sincerely have no taste. I sing in praise of children, I will croon in praise of dames, I will chant in praise of mighty men when I recall them. 
Before Rodrigo was the Pope, he was a man of vices. And once he gained the Holy See, he raised his vices prices. What a lovely man. I do like these songs, it's great fun. This courtyard is clear. But I do not see Prince Suleiman. Follow me. A minstrel song I've heard them say brings maidens by the score. But luck deserts me when I play. I hasten to the door. I like I still got the loot. Now this is a celebration. Suleiman, the Sultan's grandson and governor of Kefe. And he's only 17. We met on the ship. He told me he was a student. And who is that? His uncle, Shehezade Ahmed, the Sultan's favorite son. He is grooming himself for the Sultanate as we speak. Sherefe, Salon is up. Come. We have more Byzantines to find. Thank you for coming. Hang on a sec. Spend the night with me. Such an exotic sound. Okay, who else is there? What? Oh no, wait, I, I marked him. Suleiman is dead. I wish I could just stand over his corpse playing the bloody loop. Hang on a second, there's something I need to do. Uh, something's just not working, I need to sort it out. like a jester I act the fool and mine all the actions of those I curse and run down all the time I was actually just on my way home before Rodrigo was the fool oh god I need to bloody pull on sign back in now And once he came the Holy See, he raised his vices prices. To judge a lady's character, no well her company. If you should wish to see my sage, come spend the night with me. Killing people. Okay, no, sir. Down. It's great. Now where to? But she's vibing, just in bits. Uh. Vieri, oh Vieri, yes, he a party fame. What 
just as mad as his was mad. I see Italiano, you understand no word, but I think he's not existent in my Turkish. Turkish. An eye card. <laughs> well, that just exists. Do we catch you? Do we catch you? Clear the courtyard. Says Ade Suleiman. Take cover. Follow them. It's you. See that lovely. It is a relief to see you again, mio bel menestrello. Did I say that right? Well enough. I hear you are a governor, too. Is there anything you do not do? I do not talk to strangers. I am Suleiman. Et you auditore. Shazadem, are you injured? Who is your captain's soldier? Tarot Balete. He is away on an errand. Clear this body and send the guests home. Then summon Tariq to the Divan. Bashus Tanesh, as Adem. Tariq Barlete is a captain in the Janissary Corps. The Sultan's elite soldiery. They guard the Sultan, but not his family. Not very well, evidently. Etsy, do you have some okay. time to Let's spare? get some likes up, shall we? I would like your we opinion think on Lenovo something. Ralph 340 can handle Assassin's Creed Black Flag gamers. Let me have a look, see Gazelle. what... Meet me when you are ready. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up. Uh, Ralph 340. Is that a laptop, a gaming laptop? 600 quid. 9th gen i7 GTX 1650. Um, 4.1 GHz with Turbo Boost, 4 cores, 8 MB cache, uh, 8 GB DDR4 RAM, 1 TB hard drive. It's not solid state. Uh, 3 GB GDDR5 1050, sorry, it says on here. Which is a 1050. Oh, that might struggle a little more. It should handle it. Semi-decent. Won't be an optimal experience, though. So don't expect something fucking bollocks crazy, if you get me. Thanks so much, I'm a huge fan. No worries, man. The combat was easy with the Genesaries, it was just tedious. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of difference between tedious and challenging. Like, you didn't have to think with them, you just had to counter them like several times and then kick them when they got the gun out and attack. If you can. Or shoot them. It wasn't particularly difficult, I wouldn't say. The nurseries are weird. They were either taken from birth by the army of their orphans and they train all their lives just to serve the Sultan. Alright, how are you doing? Okay, let's, um... I would go get that viewpoint, but that, that's for... It's for raging bomb people. Tell you what we need to do. We need to go do the books. But first I want to get this viewpoint. I don't want to do the mission particularly. Part of me doesn't anyway. But I get the vibe once I go in there, I might as well. I just know it's that bloody diff- no, don't do that. I know it's that bloody bastard mission. Well, I'm not going to be best pleased with um, sneaking back out. Oh well, sod it, we'll do it. We're here. I planned on Revelations a month ago, that's pretty cool. At least there's someone here who can be asked platinum -y. revelations. Saves me having to do it, so it's fair enough.
Assassins versus Templars, who is right? Oh my god. I'm not going to answer that question. I just don't have an answer for it, I don't think. I like how the thing that I need to get is down there. That was fine. We can agree that Odyssey is the worst Ubisoft game in 2019 or ever. Oh, why have I double synchronized? I've synchronized 20 out of tw 22 viewpoints. The Genesaries don't even have eyeballs. You think they're even like, yeah, we'll, we'll talk then, won't we? We will, we'll talk. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlater. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch. <laughs> An uneasy meeting. Right. In we go. Eat my nephew, Tarek. Your oh, that's secret. borders on treason. And to think that today your janissaries were outshone by an Italian loot player. Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, if any. I will conduct a full investigation. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanat Olam. Tariq Bey, a word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tariq, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed, I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? You'd better. You are weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. You make a decent philosopher, Ahmed, but you will be a poor sultan. You may show yourself out. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. <laughs> what the fuck is that in chat? Ezio Auditore comes in and types. Thank you for playing the game about my life. Dot dot dot. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Requiesce. Cut in Patrick for Teo Neo. Vittoria then just stops. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can. Right, the sequence is finished. It's always good. I've got that screenshotted, so I've got it. So I've got it saved somewhere forever. Um, sad news is Snapchat is a bit down at the moment, um, so I'm not very happy about that.
I have made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries, who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Masyaf keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer yeah, not in this struggle should not be forced to fight it. What's the fish just on the stream? Welcome. Governor, let's see who. No, stop it. Stop asking me questions that you know I don't want to answer. Questions that I look at and. Mm, no, just no. Snapchat is bad. I do like I like Snapchat because I have a lot of friends who I speak to on Snapchat. I would do the bizarre bit, but I don't really want to yet. Now there is a book mission over there, and I like books. Big brain time. I like seeing Dennis on Snapchat. Me too. I like seeing Dennis on Snapchat. Revenue deposit made of zero actually in the bank vault. Oh, I would go in there, but that's what shit people do. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna um, look for the the books across Constantinople. Let's go. Fix this bloody sleep schedule. Honestly, me too. Fifteen out of a hundred animus data fragments removed. It's the main thing, right? No bottle from two at four p.m. four a.m. isn't a good idea. Voice chat with the lads until six a.m. That is um. That is dedication to to, to the to to the boys. I'm gonna be honest. That is some serious dedication right there. Let's uh modif let, let's renovate this place. Doing all the side missions, only the stuff I feel like I'd naturally do. I also specialize in the fine underwrites of exceeding of the finest grade, leaves and dates, along with dried fruits of all kinds. He also has his Go recover the book. Some lovely reading material, if you get me.
Well, you do the Vlad the Impaler tombs. There's a Vlad the Impaler tomb. What does that mean, Vlad the Impaler tombs? I don't remember Vlad the Impaler. I remember Ishak Pasha and that armor. Remember that tomb. I really don't remember it by that. But I guess I'll do it. I joined two hours late into the stream. Could be worse, you could join and realise the stream's already over. And from where I'm sitting, that would be worse. My brother needed his coins to get a two-handed. Yes. Blood the Impaler Sword. Why would you... Oh, right, okay. Vlad the Impaler. What a guy. Impales people. How about Gavin's team fish? Stop it. Stop talking about Gavin, please. Are you a completionist or more of a story guy? I'm more of a story guy. I never cared for completing a game 100%. I'll do everything that's worth doing, but if I feel like something's not worth doing, I won't do it. Unless it's ridiculously easy and it's almost an inconvenience not to do so. Sorry, mate. There we are. Right, where am I going? I presume that's it there, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Well done. I feel to climb halfway up again. I could have just jumped off and landed on the on the roof of this thing here, and it would have been fine. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you knew that. Would be that would be really, really fantastic. Let's go over here, shall we? See if we can get that done. See, that would have been fine. This is Boyo. Thanks. I have 100% on Black Flag. That is, that is some skillfully done stuff. Getting 100% sync on all those bloody tailing missions. I couldn't do it. I could play through Black Flag quite happily and do loads of side bits in that, but I can never 100% it purely because it's just... No. <laughs> oh god, I'm so... I'm so bloody tired myself. Obviously, I need to wait until a certain point before I can get in there. Don't I? I've seen enough for one life. I have seen enough for one life, which is why I must see more. Hold well on, Ezio. You really showed him how to do that. I can't get in there just yet. Ezio has infinite stamina. Well, he is a, he is a big man. I 
Is that a books mission there? Is that a... Is that a books as well? Does it do all the, the, the books? Listen, all the, the, the books is important. We have been going for two hours, which is happy days. Let's get the books done. See that? I got up here pretty fine. <laughs> Reclaim the city was completed successfully. Oh yes. Another thing that I'm sort of hell bent on doing, which is get all these guys up to at least assassin level. Send this guy in. Get a little bit of experience along the way. They get a little bit of experience, but mostly I get a bit of money. And that seems fine. So that'll do it. Right, let's get let's get moving. <laughs> really? You landed that as well, then you just didn't suddenly. It's very clever. Sixties and old age to die in. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe not. It was an old age back back then, maybe again. But in the same sense, it wasn't unheard of people reaching that age. Like, um, people who survived birth, for one, didn't die anywhere near as young as historical records of have you believe, because that was, that involved mortality rate of infants and children, and things like that, which was quite high back then, higher than it is now. So, that for those who did survive, the lifespans, the lifespan was maybe a bit longer than what averages would have you believe.
One say it's necessarily the same. Don't know, 60 was not necessarily the ripest of old ages, like it was not unheard of for people to live that long, if not longer. Don't get it back, it's decided. It's the harsh truth. What's that? Sorry, he won't get what back? And what was decided? Civil rights for... Well, what's, what's happened to... um? What's happened with Nimrod then? What's that about? Someone going to talk to me about it? You know, big man, me. Let's go do this viewpoint over here. Oh, I've liber I know I've liberated all the um, all the Templar hideouts, and they've all got assassins manning them now. Or at least I hope they do. I accidentally hired a crowd. Of I love when I accidentally hire Romany, so it happens all the time. He muted someone as a joke and lost a whole role for it. Some mate. I mean the rules are don't don't use your mod powers as as a joke. But at the same time I get the vibe that depending on who broke that rule, sometimes we'd let it slide, sometimes we wouldn't. I have this question, why can't mods just if just not uh, not use your mod rolls to joke about why, why is that so difficult as, as a general rule to follow for one but also why do I feel like there's a fucking double standard in the um, in in who gets that treatment and who ah oh, it's just a joke Even admit it's fair. Well, I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it's curious how that one seems to work when we want it to work, and seems to not when we don't. I'm over it than he is. So I presume. I pres Fishy sounds like lasers. I sound like me. What do you mean? Do you mean I sound like James? I don't. I don't sound anything like James. See where we're coming from. I have my eye on it for sure. I don't want inequality. No, I. No, I just sometimes notice that there is a little bit of a double standard going on with what some people can get away with and what others can. It has happened before. Where one day you'll be like, yeah, that's fine. Another day. It will just be, it's just a joke, it's fine. But no. God, God forbid this person does it. No. In the end of the day, I think that it's a fair rule. If you fuck about with your mod powers, you don't deserve them. But I do notice that some get away with it. Others don't. She sounds like Winston Churchill. Have you ever heard Winston Churchill's voice? Saying I sound like Winston Churchill is a bit like saying Chris Eubank sounds like Donald Trump. There we go, lovely. 
Once again, I'm not fully for the decision, but pillars decide over mods. I haven't decided anything on this one. If James has decided that he doesn't want Kassassin as a mod because he's broken a rule, fair enough. I'm not going to question that. Listen, the way I see it, how hard can it be to just not break, just not bloody fuck about with your mod, your mod roll? Like, I've been given mod not to fuck about with the roll. And why do so many people insist on doing it, even though we've warned that there would be consequences if you fuck about? Like, we have told people, it's very explicit, it, we do say, we, if you, if you ban people or mute people as a joke, you, this role will be taken off of you, because, in the end of the day, we're trying to build a serious community here, which is open to people, but from the, from the same strain, sometimes you have people ban people based on their intelligence. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. What, what, what? Who gets to decide what's a joke and what isn't is a question that needs asking, I think, of the entire Discord um, overall. But also, I think it's important that we do uphold that rule because it. But four grand for a banker, you're mad. Because otherwise, people will just be banning people willy nilly for no reason other than just to be. It's just funny, and I can't be having that. He's my friend. Have you told him if I hear he was treated like this, and I will talk about it? We don't tend to ask as much, but you're busier, right? No. You enjoy to tell everybody your opinion. If you're against it, you're since you're a I'm not against it. Like at all. I think it's a I think it's a good decision. I'll stand by James on this one. But no, it's fine. But I am around. I just I always have Discord up on a screen when I'm not streaming. Right now it's not up on any screen because I'm not streaming, but oh there's a fragment there. We can dip out the animus and do a bit. <laughs> 20 out of 100 animus data fragments recovered. This is a really rich district, that's fine. I'll remember the mods to take you more in these subs for problems. Don't need it. If there's a pillar about, you can give the say, it, or you can make the decision yourself. And then come to us and tell me. Fair enough. All I'm gonna say is fair enough. I'm just gonna ask what's new, and people can tell me what's new. I don't care. These are an essential pillar, an essential pillar is indeed what I am. Every now and then, anyhow. Oh, Jam Toy Fish, you want to play all of the Assassin's Creed game series? Well, I'm going to give you a quick answer to that one. No. Halt, it's the chromosome police. You've come from an old video. How many times have you played Revelations? Uh, so many times that I couldn't give you a number if I wanted to. Which I don't. Because I'd rather not think about how many times I've played Revelations because I know it's a high amount. Right, we're on Animus Island doing bits, you know what I mean? Thought one of these would become available by now. Yes, Desmond De Desmond's Journey Part 1. No environments. I can't even feel my own body. Everything's just raw data. So, so am I still me, or am I some kind of computer program? 
gaming. That was always peak. I'm going to get the new Avengers game. Honestly, it doesn't look good remotely. I look at it and I go, this looks like shit. It looks like shit. It does. It looks like it plays like shit. I don't know if I'd be interested in the story. Home. I don't I know. Was born here. Oh, the farm. The farm. Yeah, they called it the farm. My parents, two dozen couples, some kids, a community hidden away. Listen to this music. Lovely and good. Small houses in the Black Hills. Right. The clear skies, wood smoke, wind, the stink of gasoline, the generators running day and night. I remember. We live simply, almost like nomads, so far from everything, ready to pack up and go at the drop of a hat. If we were discovered, if they found us. Can Ubisoft make Assassin's Creed like this? I mean, they have in the past. With, they made this. The farm. But who knows? It wasn't much of one, was it? Not a proper farm. We grew some food. I don't remember any animals, though. Maybe a few dogs. Here we are. Assassins. I was born into it. I didn't choose. It was like the birthright. You are an assassin, they told me. What did that even mean? Ever since I was young, they never stopped saying it. You are an assassin. You are an assassin. And this is our creed. I do I like Desmond's true. journey. It's pretty fun. What did that mean? A world without purpose? Everything is permitted. I jumped really far. Everything then. is permitted? I was if there's something down here to have a look at, but no, there was not. I was wrong. Come back, please. go yes now there is some reason to be down there but I don't need to go back down the bloody lift way that's, that's just for shit bustards let's go they're looking for us and they will not stop until every one of us is dead yeah I believe for a while but I never understood that's the trouble when you're born into something. Belief without understanding. Everyone was so serious. Scared, too. All that talk of assassins, Templars. The end of the world. Yes, I see. Life is good when I can do bits. Now let's go.
Here we are. Door. Live by the Queen, Desmond. Empower yourself. Every man has his limit, I guess. I can't remember when I stopped believing. When I stopped caring. God, it all sounded so stupid. I couldn't hear the word Templar without laughing. And assassin? Forget it. I can outrun that. Look at that maneuvers that have been performed Ancient today. War, they said. An endless struggle. But I never cared. Who knew it was possible to bore a kid with war stories? I guess I was lonely. Alone in a crowd. If I could have told them that. Maybe they would have listened. If only I could go back. If I could tell them I'm sorry. Here we are. Wow, look at this. That was pretty cool. Desmond didn't have a childhood. That's that done. That's cool. I think this is as good a place as any to conclude the stream, really. I know that there's more of those to do, but... For now, I think we're all right. Yeah, but I think this is. I think when I go back into the animus, then we're gonna call it a night or well an afternoon. It's 4 p.m. Right? 4 4:20. 4 oh, 4:23. Have you ever eaten an M&M? &M? Yeah. Does anyone recall the Christi and Christina Auditore? What? There was never a, a Christina Auditore as a Claudia. Christina Auditore da Firenze. Oh no. Not that one. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's a disenfranchised gentleman? Right. I think this is the conclusion point anyway. I would renovate those, but I don't want to let I don't want to raise the bounty too much, but we'll fuck we'll, we'll renovate this one, it's fine. Sod it. So What did it rough? I don't know, man. It's had to. So yeah, thank you, for, thank you all for watching the stream. That it's been fantastic. Thank you to James Rostron, Noel UK, and that idiot Dave for your super chats. I um, appreciate those as well. Well, you don't understand how incredibly helpful it is. And thank you to everyone just just for showing up. But uh, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. Maybe if you want to go ahead and check out the um, Patreon side of things, you might find some interesting content over there. I, I, I recommend giving it a check out. I mean, I thought I, I, I think there's some cool stuff over there, but whether or not you think it's worth it is completely up to you. And of course, I will, with any luck, catch you all very soon with another video or stream at some point. But until then, take it easy. See you soon. Bye bye.